I am back in my amazing work trousers. Some of you said they should be illegal because they make me look so dangerously attractive. Anyways, Anna's gonna take charge of details such as choosing the color for the room and painting it. But I know why you're really here, to see me drilling the holes for the plug sockets. And also thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you do destructive work like this, please think about it first, measure twice, discuss it with your partner, and then act. Unless, of course, you are a more instinct-driven person like me, then just drill and hope for the best. No, no, go away. It's dangerous here. She's still a child. Generally, when I drill a hole like this, I think, what could possibly go wrong? Could there be a cable? Could there be a pipe? Could this be the wrong place to drill the hole? But it looks good and it's perfectly centered, especially when you look from afar. Some people say, I want my plug sockets all at the same height throughout the house, which is fine. I understand them. But we live in a chateau, it's so big. When you walk from one room to the other, you forget where the plug sockets are. Unless, of course, you would write it down and then compare it, but who does that? And then, for instance, here I know the axis is where the, this black thing is. There's always something on a drill that gives you the height. Don't change the drill bit, though, because otherwise it doesn't work. If you don't have a pen, use a... Oh, there's a pen. Here the pen. And here it is. There's a second measurement, which is important. How far from the molding do you want the plug sockets to be? And I say about two fingers. I don't know, is that enough? Maybe a bit more. Maybe let's say four fingers, five. How much is that? Three. Three fingers. Hey. Hey. Oh, you got started already. Yeah, I'm doing the holes for the plug sockets. Oh. But, um... Have you measured? Yeah. Are they in the right place? Yep. Okay. Well, I was going to protect the floor before we started, <laughs> but you started, so... Oops. No, but it's fine. I can make eight plug sockets, because mm -hmm. in France, the norm says on a 1.5 square mil cable, you can plug in eight <laughs> plug sockets. Great. Not great, repeat. Oh, we can plug in... And what type of fuse? Philip. 16 ampere. You take care of the electrics and stop showing off. I'll take care of all the painting. It's not showing off, it's, it's, it's precious. I'm, I'm giving tips here. I'm mm -hmm. doing this to educate people. Um, I'm going to make some lunch. Good. And then I'm going to start. Protecting? Yeah. Good. Oh. Look what I found. Our fire extinguisher. I bought it. I thought it was a good idea to have a fire extinguisher. But then I forgot where it is. And it's important to have a fire extinguisher, but it's even better if you know where it is. We bought that on, in a brocante, an art deco piece, and it was like 20 euros or something. It was really helpful for about three years to store cutlery. And it's beautiful. A candle full of spider webs. And a Playmobil woman with love written on her t-shirt. Is that appropriate for children? What is she, a hippie? When we bought this, I broke the marble top. I lifted it in the car and, and it broke. And I got told off by Anna. But it's repairable. So if one day we want to fix it, I have all the bits and pieces. It's a beautiful marble. Look. Look. How I broke it, I lifted it in the car, holding it like this, and then I placed it down flat. I was inexperienced in the art of marble transportation. Now I know that if you have some marble or stone, you always have to transport it standing upright like this. Like this. Never like this. Whenever we start a new project, we spend a lot of time researching online for materials, tools, appliances, fabrics, etc. And when we come across well-made e-commerce shops or nice brand pages, 
they often have one thing in common. They are made with Squarespace, an all-in-one online platform to build a beautiful online presence, which also happens to be this week's ad. When you sign in with Squarespace, you have access to a vast amount of templates, which you can then adapt to your needs and taste without any programming skills. You can easily set up a simple web presence or build a big web shop for your e-commerce business. It's also very well suited to create online portfolios for your design and projects with customizable galleries and password protected pages to share your work with your clients. If you want, you can even buy a domain from Squarespace. It's very simple and there are no hidden fees or price hikes. So if you would like to create or rebuild your online presence, I highly suggest head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash how to renovate a chateau to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. helping. You're welcome. Do you know how this would be called if there was a grape? No. A wine bar. Philip, that's a really bad joke. But I'll forgive you because you're helping me. So. Mm. It's funny, after hundreds of years, it still smells really good of wood. Impressive. Is there any hidden treasure behind there? No, just the bricks ah. and some plaster. It doesn't look centered. Of course it's centered. Did you measure? Yes. How did you measure? I put it here and yeah. I made sure that on both sides it's the same distance. Yeah. And how did you make sure it's the same distance? Because if I put a finger here and a finger here. Show me here how, because that looks like yeah. one, a, one and a half fingers there. That's like. Yes. That's the problem. This thing is slightly thinner than the other. Yeah, I mean, that's not my fault. I was born like this. Philip. Mm. It's not a nice thing to make fun of. Oh, wow. There's loads of cobwebs up here. Our temporary plug socket, and here an old one. Can't be any electricity on this. I redid the whole electrical system, and I didn't leave anything from the old electrics in this house. But you never know, you never know. Safety is my second name, so I'm gonna check. Walt. Of course not. But now we know it. His name was Health and Safety. He was such a brave man. Hey, hey, Health and Safety man, your life must be so hard. Hey, hey, Health and Safety man, everything you do is art. Now I need to work on the wiring. I need to distribute this cable, get it to each of the future plug socket boxes. That means I, I'm going to make a lot of dust. Yes, eye protection. So, now, screwdriver. Look at this. Fun fact, as you have seen by now maybe, on this side the panels are actually not panels. This is just plaster and the only wooden bits are these here. When the previous owner bought this house in 1917, 
like the previous owner's grand grandparents. This room was in really bad shape. There was trees growing in here, they said, and probably all these panels were completely rotten. So instead of repairing it, it was during the war, so there was not much material available. They just replaced it with these. It's now part of the story. What do you think, Ziggy? Oh, look at his nose. Oh, Ziggy, you promised me not to touch that stuff again. No wonder you're so excited. There's one massive job to do, still electrical wise. Do you see from here to here, whoops, there's a cable. And that's gonna be the cable for the light switch. And I have to hide it somehow. It's not gonna be easy. And I came to the conclusion that it's actually not a good idea to open up all the wall here if there would be an alternative. And there is. This is wood. Why is this wood and why is there some space behind? Because this wall used to be the outer wall of the chateau. And later when I made the extension, the kitchen and this room behind the chateau, they had to transform these two windows into doors. This is the exact configuration as our breakfast room there. You see? Oh, now it's a storage room. Two windows, a chimney in the middle. And you can see the shape of these windows. They're going from here all the way up to the ceiling. Now, let's go back to here. Here they obviously had to open up the door because that was the window sill here. And then they also had to close the windows up there which theoretically means that this should be hollow, and it is. Somebody, over 100 years ago, closed up the old window here. Do you think he left us something, a message, or a tool? Do you think it, it would be worth to have a look into this? I think, I think it is worth looking into this, and because it's worth looking into this, I use this camera which is absolutely not our sponsor. I don't tell you what make it is. I just tell you it was very cheap, so I don't expect much of it. But I always wanted an endoscopic camera for all the right reasons. Imagine there was treasure. Then I could finally buy a boat that I deserve so much. So Philip, what's that you bought? This is a camera to go into holes. Why did you buy it? It sounds horrible, but <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not doing amateur dog colonoscopy here. I'm going to do um, checking out if there is treasure inside and also a way to get the cable from here to here without damaging the wall. So you just bought yourself a new Look, little um, gadget? I bought myself a very cheap gadget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it says it's not for medical use. All right. All right. I'm kind of excited. I, I, I so where too. are you putting it in? I don't know, I need to make a hole. You need to make a hole first, yeah, oh, that might there's help. A, there's an hole. Upside down by the looks of it. <laughs> gross. It work. There's no lines. Oh, yeah. Oh, gross, Philip. Philip, that's enough. Nobody wants to see the inside of your nose. It's a little hairy. It's an age thing, hairy, hairy nose. Yeah, hairy nose and hairy ears when you get old. I feel like you're going to be going around the chateau after this, checking all the walls and making holes everywhere. That's a good idea. And I fear, I fear that there will be a lot of repairs to do. <laughs> Ziggy, what do you think of this? What do you think? Ooh. Should we look up your nose? <laughs> Doing it already. Wow. Yeah, I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't destroy the treasure. This is so exciting. This is super exciting. No. Look, it looks a bit like my nose. Ooh, what, is, what is in there? Um, cobwebs? Not much else by the looks of it. Don't be so negative, hold on. <laughs> no, no hidden treasure. So we need to find another way to buy a boat. We could sell our Tesla. You can't sell it, it's rented. Yeah, but we don't have to tell them. I just got a really exciting delivery. I needed some extra paint for the kitchen to do all the touch-ups where we're making some changes and finishing off bits. But I also decided to order some new sample pots. 
I know a lot of you loved the red color last week. It was very obvious in the comments. And as much as I am being very open-minded, I don't want to just rush into choosing a color with something that, you know, I had already. So I decided to take a few other colors. When I do samples for colors in the rooms, I always take some paper and then I paint two layers on so you get the right color because if you just do one, then it's a little bit washy and you don't get the sort of saturation that you would have normally on a wall. You know, choosing paint colors, it's all about trying. Just trying, trying them out. There's no way to know until you have it up on the wall. You never know. But I highly doubt that I will go with this orange. They're obviously quite subtle colours, so there's They're not, not subtle. That is definitely not a subtle colour, Philip. Well, they are quite matte and not... What do you want them to be varnished? <laughs> no, I mean, they are not matte. So I muted. Say, muted. Yeah, but that's normal, Philip, because the thing is, is if we suddenly had a really vibrant pop colour, yeah, it, it would not sit well with the rest of the house. So that's why we have to stick with muted tones. But sometimes contrasts are attractive, like things that are really different, like us. Yeah. That's when we true. work well together. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing with the red that we were trying out, which is really beautiful. But actually, if you come in here and you see it next to this green, it feels too dark, you know? It's a really contrast. You know what? Just take your time. We still have, what, four weeks before Christmas? If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. It helps us so much. We couldn't make these videos without you and the patrons who support our channel.